television of the 1980s. Fictional television programming of this period is important because a lot of well-known and popular shows seek to break the stereotypes and the societal molds that have been created about the perceived roles of men and women and of adults and children. A few important shows to discuss are Family Ties, Who is the Boss, Growing Pains, and Fall House. Family Ties, which aired from 1982 to 1989, is a bit unusual because it shows a household where the children are liberal and level-headed and conform rather contently to society, while the parents are liberal and were activists and hippies in the 1960s. Alex Keaton, played by Michael J. Fox, is a strict Republican and outwardly disapproves of his parents' beliefs, and this is often a point of contention throughout the series. Mommy, you look so pretty, like an Indian princess. That's your father, dear. Who is the Boss, which aired from 1984 to 1992, messes with the established view of gender roles, because in this show, the male figure is essentially the stay-at-home parent, while the woman goes out and works. Although the lead characters, Tony Maselli and Angela Bauer, are not married, there is tension over which of the two is really in charge, hence the title of the show. Shut up, Connor, I'm trying to sleep! Hey, go sit on your hard hat! Show me that smile again. Growing Pains, which aired from 1985 to 1992, is clearly an homage to Who's the Boss, as is evident from the opening scene of the first episode, where the theme song can be heard. However, the difference, this time, is that Jason and Maggie Sear are married, and this arrangement is by choice as Maggie wishes to continue her journalism career after having taken care of children for so many years. The major point of this show is seeing if Jason has what it takes to handle three children after having been out working all of those years. Come on, son. Mom, Dad, this is Jerry. <laughs> I guess it's kind of hard to see the basis of our friendship, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, Full House, airing from 1987 to 1995, depicts a widower, Danny Tanner, who asks for help from his brother-in-law and his best friend to help raise his three daughters. This blurs the concept even further as now three males have to try to play the role of both mother and father, especially with two of them being unexperienced parents. Naturally, this can often result in huge mistakes. We have a winner! <laughs> the 1980s features role-changing television programs, the likes of which are not seen very often in other time periods. The 1980s truly was a time for breaking molds, and not just in fashion and music, but in television as well. On the night we came.